All right, we're good. Welcome back to the channel. We have another holiday release, kind of. Comes out in January. Brand new Storm Absolutes. So I had no idea this ball was coming. Instantly looked up a video, and fortunately they get them earlier in Korea. And ball looked kind of gross. So here we go. Gross in a good way. Gross, always good. Nasty, disgusting, usually a good thing. Let's get our first thoughts. I've already been throwing this ball for a couple of days, so I kind of have an idea. I did have some questions, so I've been texting Alex actually right before we started shooting. So a couple things have been clarified for me. It has to be a good ball, right? First strike, the ball review, every time. I got a text from Packy. Should we read it? Sure. Oh, never mind. It's, it's about it's about business. Oh. Anyways, so the absolute features R2 S deep, and I think it's a brand new core. I haven't really looked at the numbers. R2 S deep is supposed to be a little cleaner than your regular R2 S. It's a hybrid ball, but it's one seems like one of the cleaner ones. So I brought an X2 to compare, and then the exotic gem just to see how those two match up against each other because they're all asymmetric. They're all in the line still. I did think the UFO alert was the closest thing to this. Um, my UFO alert is in Ohio because I'm prepping to get ready for the US Open, so I apologize, but I will give my two cents on what I think the UFO alert will do compared to this one. I'm gonna move a few to the left. And we'll see what we, what we get. So far, so good. I'm throwing this ball at the last couple of days. I'm, I'm getting this house shot carry down business at South Point, and I'm like, all right, can't really get a read on a ball on this because all the balls are probably just not gonna hook down lane. I don't know where the lanes are hooking. I'm like, okay, things a lot smoother than I anticipated, especially because R2S deep is supposed to be cleaner. And usually I, when I think cleaner, I think the ball's gonna come off it more when it exits the pattern. But of course it's cover core combination that creates the shape. So it's definitely a different shape. It's gonna be cleaner and a little rounder than your average asymmetric bowling ball. I think I do remember the intermediate diff. It's a little on the lower side compared to the other ones, which means it's not gonna lock up as fast. So it's gonna transition a little bit slower as it goes down the lane. So it's a different option for sure. Rolls good at the nerd. So where is this gonna fit? When your balls are hooking way too early, they're locking up too fast, you feel like you're flat tending a lot, but you're bowling really good, this one might be the play. A little bit cleaner, a little rounder. It'll allow you to play a little further right than maybe some other asymmetric pieces. And then if the symmetrical balls, Zen, phase two, if those you feel like aren't really coming around the corner or locking up fast enough, this is your ball. So I believe this is cover-wise the weakest that we have on an asymmetric piece. I mean, I think Alex literally told me this ball will be great for league. That's going in the gutter. There's no shims in this lane. I don't get the extra right side help. What do you think we should get into next? The bigger ball or the bigger ball? The bigger one. Before I got to the nerd, I had no idea really where this ball fit. I was trying to find a weaker one. In my head, I was like, do I bring a symmetric ball? I changed my mind. I said no. So let's go all the way to the top. We'll go to the exotic gem first. The Absolute is a hybrid. Again, I always tend to lean towards thinking it doesn't really matter. It's solid, pearl, hybrid, those things, they matter to a degree, but only when you're talking about balls within the same realm of strength. It's always more important to do your research and look at the strength of cover stock. So I'm gonna say the gem is going to hook quite a bit earlier, and it's gonna transition probably faster because this core's pretty strong. It'll wanna lock up faster. I don't know if you can tell, but when it exited the pattern, it tried to get offline really fast. I did move back right to watch my first shot. Don't know why I ever move right, so I throw it so slow. Or we're just gonna keep moving left. Your exotic gem's gonna wanna pick up sooner. It's gonna wanna try to hook, quote unquote, more than the absolute, for sure. Even there, like I got kinda steep where I think the absolute would've came off it a little bit more because of how clean it is. It would've retained a little more energy. That one kinda of struggled to make the corner and that's just because the exotic gem's a little stronger. So sometimes when your ball's not hooking or it's hitting really bad, maybe it's time to ball down. More hook is not always what you're looking for, especially when the lanes are hooking a lot. A stronger ball might make your ball appear to hook less. If we find more head oil, this ball will retain some more energy. Maybe if we don't throw it all the way out to four. I was a little closer, a little further left, off the spot. Much better. Should we go to the other slightly stronger ball, but not as strong as the exotic gym? Okay. 
So I specifically asked Alex, Alex Hoskins, by the way, our, our tech guy at Storm, and I said, is this a ball up or a ball down from the X2? And he said, it is technically a ball down, but again, it's gonna be one where you can be a little further right because it doesn't want to shape as much. I said word for word, not a ball that you're gonna be throwing over the left calf. So I'm not gonna let that stop me. I might still do it, but yeah, we're gonna see where this fits. Oh, so for me, it definitely felt like it kind of wanted to lock up sooner. When I say lock up, it's just how it exits the pattern, how fast it wants to get going forward. Asymmetric bowling balls tend to want to do that. They want to do that faster than symmetric balls. It's not that gradual motion down the lane. So that tells me move left, and we'll get in a spot to where we can just start throwing absolute then X2. Yeah, this one's ripping off it pretty hard. And I've always had the X2 kind of a, you know, not a super whippy ball, not a super angular ball in terms of how it reacts to the rest of my equipment. We had high flush there, let's stay in the same spot as the absolute. And my goal is always is to just let you know what I think, where the balls fit, so you can make an educated decision in the pro shop for yourself. So that motion was a lot more gradual, at least to my eye. Both were high flush still, so I think maybe we just need to keep going. We'll go back to the X2, move a couple. Oh, that's left. A little inside out, kind of same hit. Honestly, right now, I'd probably go to something symmetric because I feel like the balls are standing up too quick. So to help blend it off it a little more, probably throw something symmetric to kind of see a different spot. But that's okay. It's never perfect in the ball videos, ours at least. Yeah, I'm making the same move with the absolute. Also left. That one got deeper before wanted to try. Didn't get offline as fast. So, as always, the ball wizard is, is pretty spot on with how he's describing the bowling balls and what I'm seeing is matching what he's saying. Pretty smart guy. Let's defy his wishes and throw it over the cap. Defy his wishes? I don't know if it's defying his wishes. He's just saying that's not, not something that he would recommend doing with this piece of equipment. Defying his recommendations. Or that's not what it was designed for, I guess. Anything goes. Oh! It wasn't the best shot. He's not right yet. Anytime he says that something shouldn't be done, we always try to challenge him to prove it can be done. And I'm sure it can be done. I hate to say it, but I feel like this is a bowling ball that Belmo is going to pub stomp the PBA Tour with. Just a feeling. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Ah. I'm not really lofting the cap though. I'm just in front of the ball return. My ball's stuck. Do we go back there and get it, or do we throw another ball and <laughs> hope it comes back? Does that ever work? It's never worked Sometimes. For me. You just have to knock the pin loose if, there's, if that's what's blocking it. I don't recommend it. You should probably tell somebody to go get, a, go get your ball return, but I'm going to do it. I think it worked. Ah, oh, look at that. But really though, tell the front desk next time your ball gets stuck, don't, don't do that. I definitely think this ball has a spot in the bag, but it could get pretty niche, so stay tuned for the PBA Tour. No, 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 you said it wrong. Does this ball have a spot in the bag? Does this ball have a spot in the bag? Absolutely. Oh my <laughs> god. This ball might absolutely have a spot <laughs> in the bag. That's an oxymoron. Bang. Ah, oh, that might go high. It didn't sound like it went high. Maybe he's right. It is pretty stable for an asymmetric ball. I think there are other bowling balls that will make the corner easier in front of the tube, and that's probably more so what he's saying. He's not saying you can't throw from here. Other balls will just make it easier from here. It's more like, why would you want to when you have all these other tools? Right. The bowling balls are just tools. You gotta use them at the right time. Like, you're not gonna use a hammer to screw something in. <laughs> A hammer probably wasn't the best reference. I really thought you were talking about bowling balls at first. I was. The hammer was just the first tool that came to mind. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's struggling pretty bad to make the corner. It's just transitioning so slow. If I throw the X2 from there, it's probably gonna shape a lot easier. It's too bad league night's over. I really wanted to throw it, but it just I got it too early and I didn't, I didn't want another phase five incident. Yeah, I got off it way easier. I mean, I know it didn't strike, but you could 
you can tell it's a big difference. So that's where we're seeing a bigger gap when the balls start to separate. House shots are tough because it makes the balls look pretty similar, ball to ball. Right there, that's kind of outside the realm of where we would normally bowl on a house shot, and that's where we're seeing the biggest difference. So Alex is right. Weird. Never saw that coming. He's never right. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Anyways, we got merch on BoldEMT.com. If you guys want to check that out and support the boys. Should you buy it? Should you buy it? Absolutely. A absolutely.